And in the news this evening, new program is helping victims of sexual assault take back control. The state crime lab supplies rape kits to hospitals, but in some cases, they never get processed. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5, everybody. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Katz. KRK4's Rebecca Jeffrey shows us how a new tracking system allows victims to keep tabs of their kit. Rebecca. Yeah, good evening, Bob and Ashley. In recent years, there have been horror stories of backlogs of sexual assault kits around the country. In 2016, there were 2,200 here in Arkansas. But this new tracking system helps the crime lab stay on top of those cases. And if for any reason a kit isn't moving forward in that process, the victims can see it and ask questions, too. Sexual assault knocks all the wind out of you. Anne Prosper with Women and Children First is often one of the first people to help a woman after she's been sexually assaulted, whether it's talking about it. It empowers them. Or fighting for justice. Oftentimes, a victim can be their best advocate. The Arkansas State Crime Lab recently started a new sexual assault kit tracking program. The rape kits are distributed by the State Crime Lab to hospitals. Once hospitals complete their exam, it's sent to local police and then back to the crime lab for testing. They'll have a tracking number here and basically all they'll do is enter in that number into this portion hit the search button and it'll basically show where that kid is. A process Prosper believes empowers victims. For them to be able to have some control, to be able to have a process uh, to track their kids from beginning to end, it's going to be huge. And the transparency makes sure if any kit ends up in a backlog, whether at a hospital, police station, or the lab, there's more accountability. I want to ensure that we don't have a problem, and this uh, kit tracking mechanism is a, is a good way to do that. Giving victims a sense of control in the midst of suffering. Now, this process is only for new cases using the kits with the tracking barcode. Right now, the crime lab is working to get as many hospitals and police departments signed up for this free program so reporting is more consistent, accurate, and transparent. Back to you in the studio.